Tesla CEO Elon Musk apologized for the delay of the Cybertruck and revealed its release date. We can't, we can't wait to build this here and uh, deliver them to you. Sorry for the delay. It's been, it's been an intense couple of years, uh, uh, but we're going to have this for you next year and you're gonna, it's going to be great. Tesla chief designer Franz von Pulshausen also agreed with Musk and said, Next time I promise, I promise. Cybertruck will be produced in 2023. So, what are the reasons why Cybertruck has been continuously delayed for more than two years? If you want to find out, then stay tuned until the end of the video. But before we start, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Tesla chief designer Franz von Holzhausen mentioned several reasons why Cybertruck is delayed. Franz von Holzhausen said Tesla's production of the Cybertruck may have been pushed back due to design finalization by company engineers. Tesla is known as an electric automaker to take its time with designing vehicles, making sure the engineering and software of a vehicle are just right. This is most evident with the Cybertruck, still undergoing many design finalizations and nothing is set in stone. Accordingly, most recently, during the recent Giga Texas Grand Opening event, several sources revealed the latest close-up views of the Cybertruck, providing us with the most realistic images of their Cybertruck manufactured in Giga Texas. Nevertheless, some analysts still found that the Cybertruck that actually appeared at the Cyber Rodeo event is not yet its final finished version. Because of the close-up views of Cybertruck, there are a few small defects on the outside of the tires of the electric pickup. Therefore, Tesla chief designer Franz von Holzhausen and his colleagues will jointly update every component of Cybertruck to release the most perfect version before delivering the car to users. The company's engineers will have to take more time to modify Cybertruck's dimensions and final look. One of the testaments to the efforts of the Tesla engineering team is that lately the Cybertruck demonstrated its rear wheel steering features while it was moving around Giga Texas. The slow speed of the vehicle while it was using its rear wheel steering feature hints at some advantages the function could give when parking or maneuvering in tight spaces. This was a pretty practical move for Tesla, especially considering the Cybertruck's size. With a wheelbase that exceeds that of the Ford F-150, the Cybertruck is a large vehicle. So adding features that make it more maneuverable would likely be appreciated by the customers. Not only that, Holzhausen said Cybertruck's design is being tweaked to make it work better, including the wipers. Now that Tesla has equipped the Cybertruck wipers, Holzhausen also bounced around another idea, which is special wiper or wiper technology, including the potential for lasers. Hence, this can also extend the production time of Cybertruck to realize this idea. And now we come to the main reason why Cybertruck has been delayed in production. It's because Giga Texas is not 100% complete yet. That is to say, the technical work and production tools at Giga Texas are still not complete. Accordingly, several sources have discovered Tesla Giga Texas has received more shipments in large wooden crates marked IDRA, which contains the colossal die casting machines in earlier 2022. These shipments suggest that Tesla could now have four 6,000 ton IDRA machines specifically for manufacturing the Model Y electric crossover. But some argue that these die casting machines could potentially be of a different size, such as the larger die casting machines, the 8,000 tons that would be used for the Tesla Cybertruck. The 8,000 ton Gigapress would be used for the Cybertruck's underbody and it would truly be one of the largest of its kind in the market. In an announcement last year, IDRA noted that it had received an order for an 8,000 ton gigapress around March of 2021. However, there is still no official information verifying whether the 8,000 ton die casting machine for Cybertruck production gigapress has been installed at the Giga Texas factory. Therefore, it indicates that the work of installing the machines and tools to produce Cybertruck at Giga Texas seems to be still slow. Although before that, Tesla has repeatedly promised the Cybertruck's schedule. Also, the delay in installing Gigapress in Giga Texas is also due in part to the factory's prioritization of production of another Tesla electric car, which is the Model Y. 
The Cybertruck and the Model Y are both slotted to be produced at the plant, among other vehicles as well, but Tesla chief designer Franz von Holzhausen confirmed that the Model Y would be the first vehicle built at the Giga Texas. He also explains this as follows. Currently, the demand for Model Y delivery is increasingly is increasing gradually. While Gigafactory Shanghai not only produces Model Y for the domestic market, but also exports to other regions. Moreover, the Giga Shanghai factory recently encountered problems such as temporary ceasing production due to a sharp increase in COVID-19 cases in Shanghai City. Thus, Giga Texas also has to undertake the production of Model Y to reduce the burden for the Giga Shanghai factory in order to promptly deliver Model Ys to customers in North America. On top of that, Cybertruck was delayed because it had to be redesigned to comply with international law. Particularly, the European Commission has strict automotive testing and safety protocols, and the Cybertruck as is would fail many of them, including increasingly stringent pedestrian and cyclist protection standards. Several experts commented that the sharp and angular design of Cybertruck also raised concerns about pedestrian safety. Perhaps when it finally reaches the market sometime in 2023, the futuristic looking electric vehicle will have been modified to meet EU standards. But that would mean significant changes having to be made to the Cybertruck's angular stainless steel shell. Besides that, another reason for extending Cybertruck's production time is that Holshausen is not only developing Cybertruck, but is also focusing on other Tesla models like the Roadster. Holshausen recently made an appearance at the Spikes Car Radio podcast, where he discussed, among other things, the Cybertruck's eventful unveiling and some of the company's upcoming projects. Accordingly, Holshausen has given an update on the Next Generation Roadster program on the Spy Car Radio podcast as follows. <laughs> I mean, we're working on the Roadster. Um, I wish it was, you know, we were working. Ultimately, Cybertruck production is delayed as supply chain issues still persist. Holshausen said the chip shortage would limit Cybertruck production volume significantly. Hence, the new timeline for Cybertruck is now quite vague. Indeed, a worldwide shortage of computer chips that continues to persist has slowed the entire auto industry and other manufacturers of electronic consumer goods. Tesla is not the only vehicle manufacturer to be affected by the shortage in chips, also known as semiconductors, which are widely used in electronic devices and necessary in many vehicles for them to run. While economists predicted that demand for the components is soaring as more and more consumers order electronic items like smartphones, laptops, etc. Auto companies scaled down their production and ordered fewer chips because of the spending predictions, then found themselves without enough chips after electronics companies also bought chips to meet the demand. Besides that, Pat Gelsinger, the chief executive official of Intel, the US's largest chip maker, has said the shortages will last into 2023. Other analysts say it could last through the end of that year. Meanwhile, Ambrose Conroy, founder and CEO of Serif Consulting, expected that we're going to go through the chip shortage of 2023. And that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and also for your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, as well as ring the bell so you won't miss out on the next episode. Until then, take care and remember, always be safe.